Well, once again, we have a snow night, and we're not going to be able to meet as Trailhead Cowboy Church, and so I want to be the pastor in the pasture and share with you a little bit of, of what we might have talked about tonight. And I want to use the 147th Psalm today, and it says, beginning with verse 10, God's pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor is his delight in the strength of a runner. But the Lord delights in those who fear him and who put their hope in his unfailing love. Now, that's kind of neat. Uh, God's delight isn't in the strength of a horse or in a runner. Uh, uh, my daughter Sarah and I, our sport is riding tie. And that's where if one person is on a horse. This is Cruz. He's one of our primary riding tie horses. And the other one is on foot. And we alternate back and forth running and riding, running and riding over a 10, 15, 20, or even 30 mile course. And when you finish a riding tie, you feel so good. You have just accomplished riding for a long time and running for a long time. And the three of you, the horse and your partner and you, are a team. And it feels so good. But the 147th Psalm says, God really doesn't take a lot of delight in all these accomplishments that we can make. In the strength of the horse and the strength of the runner. Uh, I kind of think of Shania Twain who says, that don't impress me much. Uh, God kind of says that to us instead. Uh, but what God does take delight in is those who fear Him. And that's, uh, I think, a much misunderstood concept. God does not want us to be quaking in our boots, just terrified to be in God's presence. God wants us to know that He is a God of steadfast love, which is how that, that last half of that verse that I read ends. Uh, but God does expect for us to respect Him, and I think horses are a great example of that. Uh, some of you from the Cowboy Church know I'm a big fan of Monty Roberts. I've learned a lot about theology from Monty Roberts, the horse whisperer. Uh, he grew up with a very abusive father, and his father expected him to do things because he made his children terrified of him. And his father taught, uh, did this exact same thing with horses. Uh, he broke horses by making them terrified, and because they feared him so much, they would do what uh, he wanted them to do. And Monty Roberts loved horses and did not want that to be the model that he had for horses. And so Monty developed a different way. And it was a way of helping horses to trust him and to put their trust in him and to let him be the boss. And Monty Roberts asked horses to do all kinds of things that aren't really natural to them. To put a rider on their back, that's not really natural for a horse. Uh, to get up into a trailer, into an enclosed space, that's not natural for a horse. But the horses do that because they fear Monty Roberts, not because they're afraid of him, but because they put their complete trust in him, they let him be the boss, and then they do what he asks. And that's exactly what this says in this passage. God delights in those who fear him. That is those who put their complete trust in God, even when God asks us to do strange things. One of our horses that we use for ride and tie is named Cocapelli. And we bought him uh, just in, in the last year, and he was really a show horse. He had not been on trails. And we want to train him to be an endurance horse. And he wasn't real sure at all about trails at first. He didn't like crossing water. He wasn't sure about the, the terrain and going up and down. And he really had to trust us. But Cocapelli is a horse who just wants to please. He loves us, and he knows that we love him, and he just wants to please. I had the chance to ride him uh, last fall down in the lower part of the state in a, an endurance race, and he just wanted to go. He was having so much fun, and he just wanted to go. And I really had to keep reining him back a little bit uh, to keep him from going uh, too fast because I knew that we had a long race ahead of us. But he wanted to please, and he wanted to go, and I took such delight in that. And so when it says that God delights in those who fear Him, God delights in those who put their hope in His steadfast love, it's saying when we do what God asks us to do, even when that seems so crazy, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, be a, 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 offer a word of witness to people of the goodness of God, or reach out to those in need. When we do those things that God asks us to do, even when maybe they don't come naturally, and maybe down, deep down inside we don't really want to do them, but we trust God and we do them anyway, then God just delights in that. The same way that we delight in our horses when they do the things that we want them to do, even though they're not really 100% sure about what's going on. They just know I'm going to trust the one who is riding me and I'm going to do what that person asked me to do. If you don't think the 147th Psalm is a good psalm for today, let's read just a little farther along. And it says, God spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. 
He hurls down his hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? Yet he sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. And so we are promised that the snow is a gift from God, but also God will stir up the, the breezes and that the snow will melt and the water will flow and we will be able to meet again as a cowboy church, hopefully next Tuesday. Y'all stay warm, be happy, and I hope to see all of you next Tuesday night at Trailhead Cowboy Church.